everybody. I'm Nitin and today in this PSLE 2015 paper 2 question series, I'll be going through question 7. So, in my channel, I aim to help you all master all those concepts out there and think beyond the boundaries for really tough questions. So, let's jump straight into question 7. So, question 7 has two methods to do it. And I'll be going through method 1 right now, which is using the model method. And after this, later in the video, I'll go through method 2. Okay, so let's jump straight into question 7 and let's read the question first. So, at first, Ben had $90 and Chandra had $48. Each bought a shirt at the same price. The amounts of money Ben and Chandra had left were in the ratio of 4 is to 1. How much did the shirt cost? Okay, so this question is awarding us 3 marks. So since that we have read the question, we should not draw the model. We should underline or highlight the key information. Like I said in all my past videos, we should underline and highlight the key information. Okay, so at first, so in the first, Ben had $90.00. And Chandra had $48. So each of them bought a shirt at the same price. Okay, the amounts of money Ben and Chandra had left were in the ratio of 4 is to 1. How much did the shirt cost? Okay. So now we draw the model. Okay, first we draw the Ben and Chandra. Okay, so Ben at first had $90. So just normally it's $90 here. And then after he after Ben and Chandra spent an equal amount of money on a shirt. Ben had 4 is to 1. So Ben had 4 units here and Chandra had 1 unit here. Okay, so 4 units here and 1 unit here. Okay, so this is what happened. So Ben had $90 at the first and Chandra had $48 at first. But Ben and Chandra spent an equal amount of money on a shirt. So I'm just selling the same thing so that you'll get into your mind. After they have done that, they had ratio of 4 is to 1. That is why there is 4 units here and 1 unit here. Okay, so now it is really easy to find something. Do you know the difference between 90 and 48? Okay, so I'll show you. 3 units. See the difference? 3 units. Now it's very easy to solve the question, right? So 3 units over here, 90 minus $48 is equal to 3 units. Wow, 3 units is equal to $90 minus $48. See, when you draw the model, it's so easy to visualize the question, right? Okay, now the answer is $42. So 3 units is equal to $42. And I always say, when you have a certain amount of units, and you know the value of it, always find one unit. So find one unit. So what is one unit? One unit is equal to 42 divided by 3, which is equal to 14. Yes, $14. So one unit is $14. Okay, so they are asking us, how much did the shirt cost? So it's very easy. One, you can do with $90, right? Shirt equals Chandra's money minus one unit. See, shirt is Chandra's money, right? This is Chandra's money minus this one unit is equal to the shirt over here. But you can also do it in another way, which is shirt, right? Equals to Ben's money minus four units. But for, for easier calculation, I'll use Chandra's one. Okay, so Chandra has $48. And one unit is 
So $48 minus $14 is equal to $34 and this is the answer. But the method 2 is not using the band's money. It's just an alternative method in the method 1 of model method. Okay, so method 2 is a different method. Um, okay, so let's go into method 2 right now. Okay. So answer is $34, okay? So method 2. So now we are going to be working backwards with algebra. Okay, so let me highlight the key information again. At first, Ben had and Chandra each bought a shirt at the same price. And then the amounts of money Ben and Chandra had left were in the ratio of 4 is to 1. How much did the shirt cost? Okay, so this question is also 3 marks. Same question, right? Okay, now we list down the ratio of left because we are working backwards. So left is 4 is to 1, right? Ben is to Chandra is 4 units is to 1 unit. Next, we know that they spend an equal amount of money, right? So um, we can't use the units again, but we can use parts because we do not know if the thing is units. So parts and units are different. So why do I plus one part? Because we are working backwards, right? When we minus, at first, then when we spend, right, it's minus. But when you are working backwards, all the minus or all the plus becomes opposite. So, so if there's a minus, right, it becomes a plus when you are working backwards. But if there's a plus when you are working backwards, it's a minus. So this is how it works. So plus one part, plus one part, um, so that you it, it can be equal. That's why it's one part, one part. Okay, next. We know the band had $90 at first and Chandra had $48 at first. So this is at first. So left is over here and at first is over here. Okay? So do you understand? Okay. So this is the ratio, right? Now, how much did the shirt cost? Now you can do algebra. Now we are going to use this concept, algebra. So there's actually two concepts in this question, algebra and working backwards. But there's only a small part of working backwards. The rest is all algebra only. Now, we do the first equation. Okay, 4 units plus 1 part is equal to $90. Why is 4 units? Here, so we are using this column first, the band column. 4 units plus 1 part is equal to $90. Okay, so 4u plus 1p equals to $90. Next, I think, now next, we are going to use the Chandra column. 1u plus 1p equals $48. 1u plus 1p equals $48. So this is equation number 2. Now, look, we are going to take equation 1 minus equation 2. So it's equal to 4 units minus 1 unit, 4 units minus 1 unit, and 1p minus 1p. So there's 0p left, and there's 3 units left. So the answer is 3 units, because the 1p cancel off each other, so it's 0 p. So it's technically nothing. So it's three units left. So now three units is basically one minus two, right? Equation one minus two is also equal to ninety minus forty eight, right? So three units is equal to dollars ninety ninety dollars minus forty eight. So it's the same steps from now on. So ninety dollars minus forty eight dollars. So three units is forty two dollars. Like I said, find one unit. So one unit forty two dollars divided by three, you get fourteen dollars. And next, we know that the shirt cost one part, right? So we must substitute two. This is where it gets different. So the equation to one unit, right? We substitute it with $14. So one unit, we substitute with $14, right? So we can find one part. So 48 minus one unit is equal to one part. One part is equal to the shirt. So 48 minus 1 unit, which is 14, is equal to 1 part. 
So 14 plus 1p equals 48. So this is what we have done when we substituted. So now we move it, shirt equals 1p. So 48 dollars minus 14 dollars equals to 1p, which is 34 dollars. It's the same answer. So 34 dollars is the answer. Okay, so I hope you understood my explanation for question 7 for method 1 and method 2. And thank you and bye-bye. I'll see you in my next video. Bye.